what some of you freaking geniuses. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to find the lengths and angles of triangles using extended ratios. All right. So let's jump into this first problem right here. So it says the lengths of the sides of a triangle are in the extended ratio six, seven, nine. The perimeter of the triangle is 88 centimeters. What are the lengths of the sides? All right. So it's basically telling us that we have this random triangle right here. Oh, that's pretty good. All right. And then it says that we can relate all three sides using this ratio. And since we have three different numbers in our ratio, that's why it's called an extended ratio rather than just a regular ratio. Okay. So we can, again, relate them using six, seven, and nine. So we can basically set this up as saying, let's say this side is six X. This side we can say is seven X. And then this bottom side, let's call it nine X. And the reason we're adding all these X's is because we don't know what the actual lengths of each of these sides are, right? All we know is that the ratio of all these three sides is six to seven to nine. But the problem does tell us that the perimeter of the triangle is 88 centimeters, right? So if we add up all three sides, they should add up to 88, all right? So let's add these three up. So let's say 6x plus 7x plus 9x is equal to 88, all right? So here, 6 plus 7 plus 9 is equal to 22. So we get 22x is equal to 88. We can divide both sides by 22. So here we get that x is equal to 4, all right? So now that we know what x is equal to, now we can plug it in to each of these. So let's plug it in here. So first of all, six times four is equal to 24. This side over here would be seven times four, which is equal to 28. And the bottom side over here, nine times four is equal to 36. And let's not forget our units. So here it tells us uh, we're working in centimeters, right? So this side right here is 24 centimeters. This one's 28 centimeters and this one's 36 centimeters. All right, so now this problem says the measures of the angles of a triangle are in the extended ratio four, three, two. What is the measure of the largest angle? All right, so again, we have just kind of a random triangle over here, and now we're given the ratio of all the angles. So again, it's four, three, two, all right? So let's just say this one's uh, four, this one's three, and this one's two. And again, we have to add our X's because we don't know what they actually are, right? So we're gonna say four X, three X, and two X. Okay, so again, in this case, we wanna solve for X. And the way that we're gonna do that is by, well, first of all, we need to know the fact that whenever you add up all the angles inside of any triangle, they should add up to 180 degrees, right? So if we add all these three up, they should add up to 180. So here we can say two X plus three X, plus 4x is equal to 180, all right? So adding these up together, two plus three is five and five plus four is nine. So we get nine x is equal to 180, all right? So then we can divide both sides by nine. So then here we get that x is equal to 20. Okay, so now that we know what x is equal to, uh, what was the question? So it says, what is the measure of the largest angle? All right, well, the largest angle uh, would be this one that we labeled as 4x, right? So if we plug in 20 for x over here, well, 4 times 20 is going to be equal to 80. Okay, so this angle right here is equal to 80 degrees. Boom! So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.